everybody, warm welcome to Stonebridge Road, home of Epsilon United. The lineups are as followed for the Bluebirds with Neil Hornby in temporary charge. They line up within goal number 12, Joel Dixon, number 21, Jack Bartram, number 11, Brad Barris, number 16, Jordan Thompson, number 17, Paul Bignot, number 19, Tony Dean, number 8, Alex Ray Harvey, number 14, the captain, Asa Hall, number 25, Chris Clements, number 9, Jordan White, and number 20, Byron Harrison. Magrid takes a throw in onto Sam Shields. Shields manages to get the ball into the box. Just hangs in the wind. Still not fully clear though. Shot comes in. Deflected behind and it will be a corner to Ebsfleet. Barrow having to stand firm there. Couldn't quite clear the lines. Just maybe rushing it slightly too much. That's a bad ball though by the goalkeeper. No one read it. Here's Chris Clements now. Clements on to Alex Ray Harvey. Shot from distance from Harvey. Keeper spills it. But Luckily for him, it drops right back into his hands. Parried it right up into the air, but it's a shot on target for the Bluebirds. Now Westmore will try and launch an attack here for Ebsfleet. Forward they go. Clemens as well on that left-hand side, but brings down Connors. And it will be a free kick here to Ebsfleet. Forward goes the ball from Connors. Kedwell being crowded, manages to get the flick on. Mistake there at the back row from Thompson and it lets in Aaron McLean who takes full advantage. A poor header from Thompson, should have dealt with it a bit better there. Aaron McLean gets in around the back and he's been given an absolute dolly there from Jordan Thompson. And Aaron McLean, 25 minutes in, it's Ebsfleet 1, Barrow 0. Now Clements, back it goes to Bartram again and Barrow losing the ball. Andy Drury gets set. Picked up well by Paul Bignot. Now Bartram, Bartram into the middle. Byron Harrison, here's Asa Hall. Hall has a shot on goal. Asa Hall, keeper spills it, but Jordan White couldn't quite get there and it's claimed at the second attempt by Nathan Ashmore. Forward it goes by Dixon. Bounces over the top of everyone, Magritte. Back goes to Jordan White, now Barres trying to get it into the box, cleared away. Asa Hall, dipping shot from the edge of the area. Ashmore manages to smother the ball up and had to position himself before he went and fell on the back of the net with the ball. Good save in the end by Nathan Ashmore. And Barrow do something from it, Chris Clemens to take it. Sends it into the area, flick to goalwards, can it come? Nathan Ashmore punches the ball away. Now here's Jack Bartram on this right hand side, back into the box goes the ball. Towards the back post, Asa Hall now flicking it up. Cleared away and it will be a free kick to Ebsfleet. Now here's Big Knot. back to Bartram on this right hand side. Brings it into the middle, Jack Bartram. Nice ball forward, Byron Harrison looking to get on the end of it. Flag staying down, Harrison in possession over by the corner. Brings it into the middle, still going Byron Harrison into the area. Puts it across, Nathan Ashmore gets down with his feet. Puts it behind and it will be a corner to Barrow. Bartram, Jordan White heads it down. Now Byron Harrison working hard again for Barrow. Now Clements, here's Alex Ray Harvey. Takes it shot on goal, Alex Ray Harvey and Ashmore gets down. Smothers the ball up at his post. Another good chance for Barrow though, another shot on target. Bad touch there from Shields. Brad Barres getting onto the ball. Now Barrow looking to bring it forward themselves. Brett, uh, Bartram on this right hand side, into the box it goes, Jordan White in a good position, should have done better with the ball there though, great ball in by Bartram, Jordan White got his head onto it, maybe the head of a man that's low on confidence in front of goal at the minute, Ebsleet get the ball back, now here's Powell, Powell into the middle, Rance gets round Jordan Thompson, shot on goal, Joel Dixon stands there and does well, blocks the shot and gathers it at the second attempt, Drury rolls it out to Coulson. Coulson, back it goes to Magri. Magri now plays the ball forward, picked up by Andy Drury. Back it goes to Coulson. Acres of space for Coulson to get a shot on goal. Joel Dixon manages to get across, turns it round the post, and it will be a corner to Ebsfleet. Throws it into the middle though. Barrow managed to get it, Thompson sends the ball forward, Adi Youssef looking to try and get in behind here, Clark standing his ground but Youssef gets it for Barrow, now Byron Harrison, 
He's got Clemens making a run. Clemens takes it into the box, goes the ball. Baron Harrison takes a touch. Ben Sente Gomez has gone in there. And Ben Sente Gomez has equalised for the Bluebirds. This time it's Epsleet turn to switch off at the back. And Ben Sente Gomez capitalising, getting it round. Nathan Ashmore in the goal. And we're just under 20 minutes left. It's now Barrow 1, Epsfleet 1. One major cause for concern is Byron Harrison limping away from that melee of players. For the third of the season for Ben Sente Gomez. And it's a vital one for the Bluebirds. Three into the middle. Ranch plays it out to Drury. Andy Drury holding it up against Ben Sente Gomez. Brings it into the middle, Drury. Now Kedwell to Powell. Powell, shooting opportunity, drives in a goal, it's spilled by Dixon to the feet of Andy Drury and a terrible mistake by Joel Dixon has gifted Epsley the lead, it's 2-1. The routine save by Joel Dixon, couldn't keep hold of the ball though and Andy Drury with acres of space to tuck it into the back of the net. And having done so well, they get themselves back level. Barrow now have 15 minutes to try and save the game. Ebsfleet 2, Barrow 1. Ball goes forward there by Magri. And now a chance here. Kedwell puts it across. Powell puts it into the bottom corner. And a game is done now for Barrow. Caught out by the long kick over the top by Ashmore. Kedwell putting the crossover. And Powell is there to put it in the back of the net. And Barrow now with 10 minutes left. Need to find two. Epsleet three. Barrow one. Tempest standing a flare now amongst the Barrow ranks. Chris Clements punching the ball away in anger. He comes to Adi Youssef. Youssef gets to the corner of the area. Adi Youssef now has a shot on goal. Right across the face. Paniato tried to get a heel onto it. And it's out of play and it will be a goal kick as five minutes of added time is indicated by the fourth official. Header away. Rance is there. Now Byron Harrison keeps it in play. Trapped in there, Byron Harrison, though. No one working off him. Absolutely able to clear. Only as far as Clements. Clements. Here's Asa Hall. Hall chips in a goal. Acrobatic save there by Nathan Ashmore to keep it at 3 1. Here's going to be a corner to Barrow. Chris Clements with a corner takes it short. Now his bed said to Gomez. Gomez, corner of the area. Still in possession, Gomez. Curls on a goal. Takes a deflection into the back of the net. 3-2 the scoreline, surely only a consolation for Ben Sente Gomez. Got the ball, dribbled it into the middle, shot at goal, took a deflection off a couple of players on its way, finds its way past Nathan Ashmore. 3-2 the scoreline, surely only a matter of seconds remaining here at Stonebridge Road. Dixon. Sends a ball forward as the referee now puts the whistle to his lips and brings an end to the game. 3-2 the scoreline, but the story of the second half certainly goes, having battled back into it, Barrow, through Ben Sente Gomez, equaliser. They found themselves 2-1 down, a mistake from Joel Dixon, and Barrow just never recovered. From then on in, Epsley waved forward, found themselves 3-1 up, and Barrow with just a late surge at the end through a Ben Sente Gomez deflected goal to restore some kind of parity, but it has finished here. Ebbsfleet 3, Barrow 2.